Hey guys, it's Ethan Omrix here. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. My iPhone 7 was left at the bottom of a pool for 20 minutes, so I had to get that repaired. Although I did get it fixed by self phone repair, so. Today we're going to be reviewing a fountain pen. The Twisby Eco. And, um, yeah, Twisby Eco in black. Let's get on to it. Also we're going to, to be reviewing an ink today, and that's going to be Pelican 4001, however you say the German name, Royal Blue. Yeah. So, um, here's the pen. Dang it. It's probably not going to focus since this is an iPhone, but it's fine. But it's a Yovo nib. It has feedback to it, but I mean, still, it's not, still a nice nib. Small, it's a smaller nib. I've seen another source that it's um, a number five, and I've seen others that it's a four, so I'm just gonna, I really don't care at this point. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it is a piston fountain pen, as you can see. I've got um, the Pelican Royal Blue in here, and uh, it holds a lot of ink. I'm not actually sure. You can go to the Google A Pen Company and see that, but it holds a good, good decent amount of ink. And uh, it has two O-rings here. It has one O-ring right there. It has o one O-ring at the back when you post it. What that means is there's also an inner cap in here, so that just helps the whole thing seal the O-ring and the inner cap when you close it off. And then when you want to post it, you can post it just like so. So, yes. And the clip... I'll go ahead and put the cap back on the pin here. The clip. Um, a lot of people have said it's boring, but I like it. Um, it's functional also. So uh, I just think in general that it's a not, it's a cool pin. Here's the logo on the top. And uh, unlike other Twisby pins, I don't have any. This is my first one. I actually got this one in yesterday. It was delivered from Amazon. You can get it for $31 on Amazon right now. So, yeah, but I don't have any other Twisby pens. But usually the logo is like this embossed, not embossed, but um, shiny uh, metal. It's got the um, logo and silver and everything around it in red. This is just plastic, I'm guessing. But still, I mean, it's nice. The whole pen is. Um, acrylic so it's very shock absorbent it'll it won't break if you drop it but um yeah it's a nice pen too and it's smaller than you would think i th i got it and I, and I thought it was smaller too so like um it's smaller than my other thumb pen which we'll um, do a comparison here in just a minute but um yeah, it is a very nice pen, as you can see right here. It says Twisby Eco Taiwan. A lot of things, a lot of good things come out of Taiwan. But, um, yeah, it's a nice pen overall. And uh, the piston knob. A lot of people have complained that you can accidentally twist, twist it and get ink everywhere or get ink in the cab of mine, you really have to, you know, give it a good twist to get it going. It's almost like there's a stopping point in there, and then you have to kind of do that to get the pen going again. But still, it's a very nice pen. And, um, we'll get to the packaging and comparison right now. So the pen comes in a box like this. Sorry about the shadow, that's my phone on a very weird recording setup comes in a box like this it says it has the words Twisby in the plastic it's very hard plastic you open it up and here's the pen it's kind of a spongy material then you get the Twisby wrench that comes with all the piston pens but instead of metal but right now it's plastic then you get a little tiny vial of silicone grease for greasing the piston So that's the packaging. And 
also a recommendation from a lot of YouTubers and the manufacturer of Twisby is to clean the pin before you use it. And that's what I did. So yeah, let's let's go on to a little size comparison. Hopefully you guys can see the pin pretty well there. Maybe I should go like that. That's better. Okay, there we go. That's the Twisby Eco. And here's my other fountain pen, my other and only fountain pen, the Jin Hao 159 in red. And um, a review coming up is the Unique Hero Toga, the roulette model. And then here's a Unique Hero Toga standard start pack model. So, yeah. There's those. Put those back over there and let's get to the riding sample. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot that there was no I between the W and the S. Hopefully, you can give, give me a pass on that. Twisp Eco. It has a medium nib. It is in black. The ink, as I said, is Pelican 4001. Sorry about my handwriting, guys. Royal Blue. And let's do the, you know, quick brown, quick brown fox thing. So, don't know why I did a cursive T, but we'll stick with it. Hopefully you can see the nib, guys, if you can. I'm sorry. There isn't really another way for me to write if you can't see the nib. And there we go. So, let's do a couple figure eights just for good measure. So overall, it's a very good ink, a very good ink and a very good pen. Um, this is a great starter pen. Also, I think it's a great everyday pen because it's durable, holds a lot of ink. I'm going to be using this for school, um, middle school, so that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, so that was my review and writing sample and comparison of the Twisby Eco. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And uh, there will be more reviews coming to you very soon.